Dave Werner is a San Francisco Bay Area-based designer for Adobe's video products. His pronouns are he, him, and if you're calling in on audio, he is a middle-aged cartoon character with a comically oversized head and a literal triangle for a nose. If you're like most people, you probably don't think you can pull off making an animated character. It's too complicated. It takes too long. Keyframes, more like key lames, right? R r right, guys? One of the primary tenets of the team behind the desktop app Adobe Character Animator was to make the imaginative world of character animation more accessible to a wider audience. And over several years, we made a pretty great product that did just that, focusing on performance capture through a webcam to drive animations. But there were a lot of hoops to jump through. People still had to download a 4 gig desktop application, have decent computer specs, and learn the ins and outs of creating and rigging a layered artwork file. So while we had a ton of dedicated users that loved Character Animator, there had to be a better way to reach a larger audience. So a few years ago, I spent a design stint helping the Adobe Express team build these things called Quick Actions. Small web-based tools that had you rapidly doing a task like removing a photo background or converting a video into a GIF. And that made our team wonder, huh, what if we tried to turn character animation into a quick action? Being free and on the web would certainly reach a much larger potential audience, right? So we gave it a shot. Distilling the entire animation experience down to a single step on a web page was a daunting design task. Initial explorations included a live webcam preview, a drag and drop method of adding emotions to a timeline, and a character creation system. I knew this is what users wanted. This is what we had been perfecting on the desktop for years. I mean, hello, we won an Emmy for it. It was a proven working system. But then we started talking to potential customers, both with the help of our Adobe design research and strategy friends, as well as our own DIY testing. And I quickly learned that this was a vastly different audience than our desktop application. Many didn't want to use their webcams at all. So the concept of performance capture animation fell flat. A timeline added unnecessary complexity and clutter to the process. And while the animated emotions look cool, most people only ever wanted to add a couple to their recordings. It was too time consuming. These users just wanted a professional looking and sounding character as fast as humanly possible. So instead, we came up with an automatic animation system behind the scenes. Basically, we take a character and give it a collection of gestures and poses. Then we use the pacing and cadence of the user's voice to determine when the character should change to a different pose, when the head should tilt, the pupils should move, and so on. Everything kind of stemmed out of one primary user control, their voice. And when we showed it to users, they loved it. And no one mentioned anything about missing performance capture or a multi-track timeline. I realized that I was not the expert that I thought I was. User testing was fast and furious. We did a mix of interviews, video walkthroughs, design mockups, and countless other methods. Including testing for every step of the way created a constant feedback mechanism that helped us prioritize what features really mattered. When users said they wanted to reposition their characters or upload their own backgrounds, we added those in. Our user testing Slack channel was a consistent pulse of what was and wasn't working. And it wasn't just formal tests. When we were faced with long cloud processing times, one of our new hires, Janessa, faithfully spoke up at a meeting and wondered if maybe we could show users fun animations while they waited. So we added several hand-drawn animated sequences, and the miraculous thing happened during subsequent user tests. Nobody mentioned the loading times anymore. They were too enthralled watching penguins jump off a conveyor belt to care. The quick action launched and has been a huge success, and now millions of people have made videos with animated characters. To me, it's clear that the reason users keep coming back again and again is largely due to our constant cycle of user testing. I've worked on products and features where user feedback only happens at key milestones several months apart. Frequent testing does take a lot of time and resources, but I'd much rather spend my time talking to real customers about how they want a feature to work, rather than endless insular debates in corporate conference rooms hypothesizing about what we think they might want. So if you're not currently including user testing as a critical part of your design process, start now. I guarantee it will make your products and features more successful. It took a while, but with Animate From Audio, it feels like our team finally reached that goal we set out to accomplish so many years ago, to make character animation accessible to a much wider audience. Not a week goes by where I don't hear from someone trying out one of our tools for the first time. And to me, it doesn't matter if they came from the website or the desktop app. What matters is now, they've got a voice and they're able to tell their stories, even though most of the time they're doing it as a dancing unicorn. Mm -hmm.